huge fight for us at ESPN. Crawford and Khan, April 20th. The pound-for-pound pound king of the sport, Terrence Crawford is the type of complete package in a fighter that comes along once in a generation. But his opponent on April 20th, Amir King Khan, is one of boxing's biggest stars, possessed of his own lethal combination of speed and power. When you hear boxing main event, main arena at Madison Square Garden, you got to pay attention. It's a big deal. For Khan, this is a legacy fight a chance to etch his name in boxing history. But it's a tall order. For to analyze Crawford's game for weaknesses quickly leads to a frightening conclusion. He doesn't have any weaknesses. Crawford is a complete fighter. I've accomplished a lot that a lot of great fighters haven't. Amir Khan's gonna come straight with his shots. Crawford's never faced a fighter like Amir Khan. I've never been outboxed. I've never been outskilled. Let's see if Crawford has the skill to do that. Let's go, let's go. I know anything can happen in boxing, but Amir Khan don't be Terrence Crawford. It's period. That mother better not take Amir for granted. He better not think that he got this fight in the bag. For Terrence Crawford, Colorado Springs is a home away from home. For five years now, he's held his training camps at this strikingly beautiful city on the eastern foot of the Rocky Mountains. The elevation, over 6,000 feet above sea level. Rarified air for the rarest of talents. This is where the fun starts, y'all. Stay tuned. You get good training out here. The air is clean, it's in the mountains. The elevation is great. They got good, good gyms up here, so why not come up here? Good, right over here. I want these, I want boom, up fast, okay? Let's hit it. Being here in Colorado Springs, it's nice because we kind of get away from the distractions at home. We get out here, and all we have to worry about out here is just working, training, boxing, lifting, running. Quick. There you go. Coming out here, it gives me an advantage. I feel great. Everything is going according to plan. Everything is on a schedule, so I don't overwork myself. Come on, another win. I don't think the world has seen the best of him yet. And Amir Khan may be a fighter that can bring a little bit more out of him. Without question, Khan is the toughest challenge of Crawford's career. To beat him, he'll need every tool at his disposal. His breakneck speed and knockout power, but perhaps more importantly, his killer instinct and his renowned boxing IQ. Pick it up, pick it up a little bit. Ah! Ah! We go. He can adapt in the ring, you know, at the moment. You know what I mean? And I think that's that's like a Floyd Mayweather level, an Andre Ward type level of thinking. And that's your strongest muscle in boxing is your mind. If Terrence Crawford leads with speed and finishes with power, he could potentially get the knockout. He's an extremely intelligent fighter. He has got utter belief in his abilities. He's got speed. He, there's really no weakness in Terrence Crawford's game. Terrence has overall game and is a great dominant fighter, best pound for pound kind of fighter in his prime. He's in for something that he never seen before. IQ that's so high to where it's going to make him feel like, man, I never boxed a day in my life before. He never fought me before. He don't know how I am because he never been in the ring with me before. All that, I fought this guy, I fought this guy. It doesn't matter, come 420, you're going to be fighting me. 
Amir Khan has faced a lot of uphill climbs in his career. Terence Crawford is just the latest in a long string of obstacles placed in his path. To prepare for his challenge, Khan has returned to a place that both invigorates and inspires him. It's nice to be back in the Bay Area where it's very quiet, very chilled. It's just like second home to me now. And it's a brilliant place for me to focus and to put my head down and work hard. I've ne always needed that one fight where I want to prove to the world this is where I belong and I've never had that one fight. I want to be remembered as a great champion. I want to be remembered as a, you know, a legend in the game. A lot of the boxing media and public are saying that it's going to be a walk in the park for Crawford. It's an easy fight for Crawford. He's going to win the fight. Most of the guys uh, he's faced are not as good as me. So you have to understand that, you know, he's never fought anyone at my level. It's going to shock a lot of people. This fight is because I'm going to train very hard. I mean, this is the biggest opportunity of my life. And now it's time to just focus on one thing, which is to win this fight. Focus is the watchword of Khan's training camp, a mindset fixated on a singular achievement. This is the level of dedication demanded of Khan by his trainer, Virgil Hunter, a living legend possessed of one of the most decorated resumes and respected minds in boxing. I feel I bring to the table the ability to get him to focus, the ability to communicate with him while he's in the ring. I'm able to communicate with him psychologically to get him to believe that he can win. Ice, ice, ice. It's about me now being the underdog in this fight and proving myself where I really belong. Ice. If Khan wins, it's a huge win. It's a huge upset. It's a huge win. He's going to have knocked off a fighter that many people view as number one in terms of pound for pound. This fight against Crawford is more risky than a fight with someone like Kel Brook. Now, I had a lot of money on the table for a Kel Brook fight. But me beating Kel Brook, I won't become a world champion. Me beating Kel Brook, I won't become a pound for pound best fighter in the world. It won't set my legacy. It's my time. I'm no Benavides and I'm no Jeff Horn. I'm Amir Khan and I'm gonna become a world champion once again. I like it here. I think it's one of the best places for me to train. I know when I reach California, I know it's work time. I switch on, boom. Today we went to Cal Berkeley, where we have access to their just amazing facility. The idea is to build up his strength that's still early in camp. I want to give him a nice, strong base. We're really fortunate here to have some great tools that he may not get at the gym, from strength training equipment to the underwater treadmill. We have jets in the front of the treadmill that actually pushes and creates resistance. And then the large tread allows a different movement patterns beyond just running straight ahead. He's gonna get a good conditioning from that workout. At the same time, really what we're working on is your ability to recover. Breathe. Training his metabolism to recover from one period to the next. Go! Come on, Mary, get to the front, get to the front. Harder, harder, harder. Pushing that heart rate up really high. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then forcing him to come down. Nice, relax. Always when we're resting, we're bringing our heart rates back down. I know Amir since I was a kid, you know, I, I saw him become a silver medalist, and I was like, okay, I want to be like this guy. And, uh -huh. uh, and then to train with him is like, uh, push me, you know? So, uh, go! Attack, 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 attack. He wants to be a world champion. I want to be a world champion again. He pushes me, I push him. I think it's always nice to have a good camp, you know, someone who can help you and motivate you. Very cool. 
it's like relaxing my finger. Oh yeah, Crawford's a great fighter. He's a pound for pound top fighter, and he's a world champion. Time, switch. And... Ah, oh, this, feels, this feels so much better. So I win this fight, I think I have to be probably, I'll be one of the biggest names in boxing. I've had a great career, but this will take me to a different level. The YMCA in Colorado Springs is a world away from Cal Berkeley's vaunted campus. But today, at least one thing is the same. There's a fighter in the pool here as well, getting his work, preparing for the deep water of a prize fight. Swimming is just, it's another tool, but it's a good tool in the fact that it's a refresher for him. Swim and train the lungs for endurance for the long haul. You got to control your breathing so you don't burn yourself out and get too tired. You never know, you know, when you might be in a firefight or got to go to the whole 12 rounds. It's all about being able to recover fast. You know, a lot of people, they'll be underwater for that long. They'll pop up and they'll start hyperventilating. We want him to come up, control his breathing, let his heart rate come back down, reset, and we'll hit it again. Every day, every day, April 20th is on my mind. That's my main goal, that's my target right now, and that's all I'm thinking about. I just try to make sure that I'm in the best shape that I possibly can be in. That's pretty much it. Everything else will fall into place. <laughs> Footwork with the weights. Rhythm. Rhythm with his legs. In and out, in and out. A lot, lot of punches. Catch, roll with it. Speed. Big speed. Let's go. They are gonna get it. You better watch out, Mayor Khan. We coming. I just always had dogs, you know. Uh, the love of dogs, you know, uh, is man's best friend. This is my newest dog. OK, tell, tell us what his, his, his name is Bones. Oh. Say what's up, Bones. Yeah, this is my newest dog. I just got him. I actually got him in uh, New York, the last time I was in New York. It's just motivating, you know, when I'm when I'm uh, <laughs> when I when I'm walking them. Like sometimes I just take walks, yeah. you know, just get my mind right and they right there beside me, giving me that courage that I need. That's why I say family is everything, and my dogs is part of my family. I have nine dogs. Oh. You know, so that tells you how much uh, of a dog lover that I am. Makes a compelling viewing. Nice up the there's that injection of pace and pressure from Amir Khan. And I'm checking out Khan last fight. See where he at. See how much movement he got in his in his legs. See where he takes his chances at. You know, I'm constantly studying this guy because he's he's very tricky. He's very fast with his hand and his feet. But I got work to do right now. I gotta cook. I got my eye on him. Him and Virgil Hunter. Brian McIntyre's skills as a boxing trainer are well documented. His skills in the kitchen, however, are just as legitimate. He's a graduate of culinary school and a one-time executive chef in Omaha. In other words, when you're in camp with Bomac, he prepares the game plan and he prepares dinner. Every time you get close to him, he complains to the ref. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 got caught slipping, didn't he? He got caught slipping. And one thing about when he get dropped, he got he always got dropped towards the end of the round. So he made it out of the round. April 20th in Madison Square Garden, Terrence Crawford versus Demir Khan. 
I think this is gonna be the fight of the year because, hey, Terrence got something that he's probably never been up against. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is ready. Come on, y'all, let's eat. I moved up in weight, so now I can eat barbecue chicken, <laughs> collard greens. I don't even eat greens, though. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. There's a lot at stake. I'm going in this fight 100% focused, and I will be prepared to get the victory at April 20th. Oh. I thought they went the distance. They did. Oh, he dropped Vargas. And he, Amir just dropped him. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like Amir gave anybody trouble, like, early on. But I kind of see Terrence catching him and knocking him out. Man, I'm about to go to sleep, man. I got to spar tomorrow. Good night, everybody. All right, Lane. How does Amir Khan win this fight? God. He needs God to win this fight. For some, a plea for God's intervention might seem like a sign of desperation. But for the true believer, it's a way of life, an acknowledgement that God is present every moment, from the most mundane to the most heroic. We have a, a guest today, the famous boxer, worldwide boxer, by the name of uh, Amir. He's visiting us. We would like to welcome him. I'm a Muslim, and every Friday, I take off the morning and half of the afternoon just to go to the mosque. No. I really believe that all the success in life comes from God, and I thank God for putting me in a position where I'm doing something I love to do. Ever since I've known him, he's never missed a Friday to go do his prayers. Uh, it's ingrained in him. It's something that he believes in. It's something that he's dedicated to. He's a true practitioner. You just see what kind of guy he is on the inside. He's, he's, a, he's a very good guy. He's just trying to live a good life and give back. He hasn't forgotten what it's all about. My faith gives me that inner strength, you know, knowing that God's on your side. When you go into that boxing ring, you're on your own to know that you've got God on your side and watching over you. And it's from, you know, people here I meet. It's their, it's their prayers that get me far. And people are always wishing good on me. Inshallah. How are you good? He is a champ. He's going to beat the New Yorkers. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to be fighting in New York April 20th. Oh, yeah, you have that fight. Oh, that's coming up? Yeah, shall I make prayers, special prayers, make special prayers, and hope, hope God makes it easy for us. Inshallah, inshallah. Tell the cameraman what I'm going to do to Crawford. Go be easy. That's it. You know that, man. I'm going to knock him out. Good to see you. When Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan meet up in the ring on April 20th, it will be a much anticipated showdown between two of the biggest names in the sport. Before they take the ring, however, the stacked undercard will feature two young phenoms poised to become boxing's next must-see superstars. 135-pound Teofimo Lopez takes on Edis Tatley from Finland. Lopez, ESPN's 2018 Prospect of the Year, is dishing out highlight reel knockouts every time he steps in the ring. His feral combination of speed and power has quickly elevated him from prospect to elite contender. Prediction, April 20th, another knockout. Do we know what round? No. So uh, with me, it's always unpredictable. This is my fifth time fighting at Madison Square Garden. And every time I fought at the Garden, I've stopped somebody. Every time I fight here, I always got to put on the show. You know, I got to represent for my, my people, 718 from Brooklyn and everybody. I have family here. You know, my father, he was here for 30 years. Back and forth from Honduras to New York all the time. And then he brought my mother, then my sisters, then me. When you see him going back like this, go right at him. 
You know, like Frank Sinatra, he said, once you make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. When we get the victory and they put me back on the mic, what we're gonna say is, give us the title shot. Everything that I'm saying, I'm walking it and I'm backing it up. Featherweight Shakur Stevenson is also a young star on the fast track to the big time. But on April 20th, he'll be facing his toughest challenge to date when he faces the Puerto Rican title contender, Christopher Diaz. It should be an interesting fight. He throws a lot of power punches, power shots. He try to pressure you, basically. Christopher Diaz tough. I feel like this fight will show, you know, uh, a lot of fans who Shakur Stevenson really is. Shakur like a little brother to me. Did you get a little tired? Your legs got a little tired? Yeah, no, did. I told you, man. Yeah. He's a great fighter. He's got tremendous talent. Could he get rid of a guy who's gone the distance with champions? Don't back down from a challenge. What a display of power! He's going to be the future of boxing. I think what's unique about Shakur, he's a very mental fighter. There you go. I don't know, I'm, I'm just different. I don't really got no, like, settled style. I can box, I can stand there and fight with you. But I feel like I can outthink anybody that I get in the ring with. All in all, April 20th features a blockbuster main event two of boxing's most exciting rising stars. I feel like Ava Knight Ryan Christopher Diaz is ready to go. Oh! I know that I'm gonna bring my A game and definitely steal the show. Oh my, what a knockdown! Go big or go home. And also, the thrilling Puerto Rican lightweight, Felix Verdejo. It's a stacked card top to bottom, one that no fight fan can afford to miss. Training for a fight involves iron discipline and weeks of deprivation. For that reason, many fighters choose to leave their families behind when they head to camp. But Amir Khan is not one of those fighters. I think she likes it. Mm. Oh, she's eating it. This is Elena. This is my youngest. So she's in training camp with me. Ow. Yeah, she keeps me, um, keeps us all active. It's always nice to have family around you. To have them in camp it takes your mind away from sometimes from a hard day you've had in the gym or when your body's aching and tired. Everything that we do in our boxing, I mean, that's what we do it for. We do everything for our families, you know? We do everything for our kids so they can have a better life and um, an easier life. How long do I want to do it for? My wife would want me to retire today if you asked that question, but um, with me, I mean, the last couple of fights, you know, I felt in great shape and I felt like I could still do a lot more. The goal is an easier life for his children in the future. And that translates into a very hard life for Khan in the present. Long days spent in the gym with his boxing family, a family led by a trainer who demands total focus at all times. Ba, 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 ba. Jab with this. this, this is your defensive jab. You know, if it don't touch it, don't just make sure you straighten it out for defense. If it lands, it lands. Crawford is a switch hitter. It's a complicated style for Amir. Crawford has shown himself to be very versatile, adaptable, great IQ. It's a fight that Amir is going to have to be on point every second of every round. As I'm getting older, I'm getting a lot wiser now. There's a lot of things that I've stopped doing in fights. Especially in this fight, knowing that I know, I know that I'm fighting someone who can pick up on these little things. Sometimes when I try too hard, I might still get clipped with a shot coming in. I'm not going to give him no chance at all. This is going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a difficult fight, and I have to stick to the game plan. I have to be very smart. So if you get the right hand off quicker. He knows it's a lot at stake. His reputation is at stake, how he performs, win or lose. So he has to mentally be engaged. There you go. <laughs> the mental aspect of training is at maximum intensity in both camps now. 
Back in Colorado Springs, Crawford's team is fine-tuning their strategy, searching for an edge in every nuance of their fighter's style. Crawford Benavides fight. Yeah, just looking what we, what we need to work on a little bit. It's like a nice little angle coming in. That's what we got to do with Amir Khan. We can't come straight to him, straight to him. We got to stay on the angle. We get in there and improve it in the pad work and uh, try to work on it in sparring. Bitch, can't knock this out my head. He like old seventh grader. I'm going to take your lunch money. Huh? I'm gonna take your lunch, man. I was lost. You know that, right? We family. Bo knows me in and out. They know what I'm good at. They know what, you know, irritate me. They know everything about me. Ah. That stuff ain't gonna hurt, huh? Man, we've been together for 20 plus years. We know each other. It's like the back of our hands. Look like you're tired. Look like you're tired. You know, we know when to work. We know when, when we can play a little bit, and we know when it's time to go. Come on, come on, you playing? <laughs> trying to push his because Khan gonna push you. So I'm gonna push him first. Because if I can get to Khan, it ain't gonna be nothing but a walk in the park. There are make or break moments in every successful boxer's career step up fights, title fights. My, oh my, what a shot! But every so often, a defining matchup comes along one that brings with it the potential to define a fighter's legacy for generations to follow. If Crawford wins, this would be maybe the biggest win of his career if he could get it. For both Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford, such a fight has found them. I just feel like he's never faced anyone like me. And Khan looking razor sharp again. Amir's dangerous, man. He's very dangerous. Amir is not one to be intimidated, but you have to respect Terrence Crawford. April 20th is going to be big. And now, history awaits the outcome. There ain't no losing. That's the only stage. Win at all costs. <laughs>